What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to our brand new video. So today we have the 91 overall team of the season so far, Jonathan, and I'll tell you what, he looks ridiculous. 289k for this card. You're just thinking to yourself, why is Alex worth like 400k and Jonathan worth 289? It's something I do want to know. 92 pace, 92 dribbling, 92 shooting with 80 passing and 89 physical. He is 6 foot. So obviously Alex is 5 foot 9. This guy is 6 foot. It's one of those ones where if his dribbling is good enough, he's never going to feel like a 6 foot player. Now the high low work rate is something I'm never going to like because he, he's probably never going to come short. And if he consistently makes runs in behind, it's going to get a bit annoying because he's not really going to give me passing options. Now, the four-star skill moves are something I'm always going to like, but the five-star weak foot is the main bit about this card. The fact that he can shoot with either foot perfectly is going to be interesting. Now, he is on a engine chem style. He is on 10 chem, 98 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. This guy is insanely fast and most likely will be outpacing a lot of center backs. He has got 90 attacking positioning, 94 finishing, with the 95 shot power he hasn't got any shooting traits or outside foot or finesse shot which is a bit of a you know a letdown but i tell you what with those finishing traits i don't believe he's gonna need it i believe it's traits believing uh shooting attributes that's what i was meant to say anyway 92 long shots 84 volleys he has got 83 vision 85 crossing 82 free gig accuracy 91 short passing 78 long passing and 91 curve now, one thing I can already tell you, no, do not use this guy in a cam position, please. Yeah, like you can use Alex in a cam in a cam position if you put the right cam star on him. But Jonathan, do not. Uh, because <laughs> 83 vision in a cam roll is not high enough. But a short passing is good enough. He's gonna be doing the, you know, the little cheeky wibbles, little RBAs, a little, you know, tick attacker plate, pretty much. He's got 98 agility, 92 balance, 90 reactions. 97 ball control, 99 dribbling with 83 composure. That is one thing I don't like to see. That low of composure usually means people hit the post. And when people hit the post, it gets me frustrated. And I kind of lose, you know, lose my mindset where this guy will become outstanding. If he doesn't hit post, then, you know, I'm going to be happy. But I'll tell you what, if he does... <laughs> There will be problems. He has got nine, the 97 ball control means he's going to keep it very close to his feet. The agility just means he's going to do his little twists and turns. 93 jumping, 95 heading actually for a six foot player. I would say he'll outhead a six foot two and below. He has got 99 stamina, which means lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes shouldn't be a problem. 90 strength is something I do love to see though. The fact that he can shield players off when he's in a tight situation is always going to be good. 73 aggression. Now, that just means he's going to be losing a lot of 50-50s. I'm hoping he fights for the ball still. That's what I'm hoping for because I love strikers that fight for the ball. Now, today I have linked them up with Littman and Pele. I've also got likes of Neymar, Gustavo, Gustavo and Adama Traore in this team. I will be using Jonathan in a 4-2-3-1, in a four, two, three, one, playing him in that lone striker role. But I also want to try and, you know, to partner him up with someone probably like Pele. So I will play him in a 4-4-2 four, four, as well. But let's get into the games. One thing I can say, I did not expect him to look like that. Like, he looks very, very tall. He looks like a Peter Crouch. Like, what am I seeing? That does not look like six foot. Oh, that's nice. Can I go for a shot? Oh, my God. If he managed to score that, I'll be very, very impressed. One thing I did realize after doing that flick is that he did an automatic header ac uh, heading animation just to get that extra touch, which I didn't really... I've, like, never actually seen in this game. Not the greatest touches. Okay, okay, okay. So, I can only tell... The touches are going to be a bit of a, you know, a bit of a panic when he gets near players. That is something I'm, I'm noticing. Jonathan, with that touch, nice touch. Can I get a cheeky facial around the corner? Yes, I can. I want another one. Full roll out. Yes, keep it close to your feet. There you go. The little twist and turns coming into play. Oh, that's not. Oh, come on. Fight for the ball. Oh, what is that keeper movement? Come on, lad. You're better than that, and you know it. That is one of the worst keeper movement I have ever seen in my entire life. Now, I'm actually quite surprised on how fast the keeper moved there. It was going to... Like, honestly, I didn't feel like he was going to move that fast, but apparently he got pushed all the way over. Little chip. Can I get that near post shot? No, that would have been such, such a light skull. Like, it would have been one, like one of those ones where 
He just goes in with so much aggression with the ball. He was so perfect. Like the positioning there was incredible. I did not expect him to stay on side. I thought he was going to be offside, but it's a beautiful pass towards him. Not the greatest volley though. I was expecting like a, I wouldn't say a top bins volley, but a volley that would have hit with a bit more power. I'm going to do an over top through ball all the way over to Adama Traore. That is an insane pass. I did not expect that from a person that hasn't got the greatest vision. Neymar, Jonathan, nice turn. Please get that acceleration going. Yeah, that is something I'm not going to like. He Once he takes like a decently big touch, I would say, he, does, like, he doesn't really accelerate, go, like, accelerate towards the ball. There's no aggression. There's no, you know, there's no fighting spirit, if you know what I mean. Little hill to hill. There you go. That's always going to be nice. My God, that finesse shot. I was actually thought he was going to miss that. Like, I don't know. The pa like, it wasn't really a power shot finesse shot, if you know what I mean. There was not much power behind the finesse shot. Like, it was just like a floater. I thought he was just going to bounce off the crossbar so, so lightly. But he actually managed to hit it crossbar down, which gives the keeper no chance. That's nice. I am going to do another finesse shot crossbar down again. Now, I do believe this one actually... Oh, we're not even going to end up seeing. I believe that one actually took a flick off the keeper. But if it didn't and he's managed to hit it crossbar down again, this guy's giving the keeper no chance of saving it. The ball is going into the back of the net every single time. Now, one thing I did like about there was a little link up between Neymar and Jonathan. It was just beautiful one-twos. That's a nice turn. That's a really good hill to hill as well. I am going to do the fake shot. Wall roll. Bring it onto the left. Foot. He did end up taking a bit too long to shoot. I tried to shoot as early as possible. But I don't know. He just didn't give him the correct animation. I'm going to do the over top. Oh my god. Please get there. <gasps> please get the header. No. Why can't we get that header on target? That pass from Jonathan had to be pinpoint to get there. I was like, why not? Let's try it. Let's see if it works. And it was a beautiful pass. The fact that Neymar has actually missed that surprises me a little bit. But it's with his head. If he was probably with his feet, I reckon it would have gone in. Ball rolling. Oh, come on. Come on now. That's just rude. To be fair, the run from Jonathan was out of this world. It honestly was. All I had to do was hold up the play with Neymar, wait until Jonathan was ahead of that player, click the Y ball, and it was a beautiful, beautiful ball roll that I didn't actually expect him to get to. And then I saw him, like, I saw the keeper coming towards, and I knew, I, at that point, I knew he screwed up. Neymar. Jonathan, not the greatest run. If you actually saw the transition there, he made a run going down, which is going to be always terrible. We have got the ball once again. Come on now. Come on. You brought out the keeper the first time, and now you're moving the keeper? Just leave the keeper alone. Leave him in the goal, because you're embarrassing yourself right now. Once again, Jonathan taking it very calm and composed as you like it. Little ball roll to get the angle for the shot, which I didn't really need to do, but why not? Oh, that's nice. Look how close he keeps it to his feet. Oh, come on. That's beautiful. It honestly is. Little chip towards the near post. Oh, come on. One thing I thought about there, I was like, he's six foot. He's got good heading accuracy. So why not? Let us do a little chip towards the near post, which is very, very unexpected, to be fair. And see if it goes in. Now, we are going to try a corner with him. Hopefully, the delivery is good because I'm not the greatest at this. Jonathan. It is there. Oh my god. How high did he just jump? I've never seen someone jump that high. Especially towards a near post. He was guaranteed to get that ball. Very unfortunate not to get the goal though. Nice. That's a good run. Fake shot. Bring it back towards the inside. He did end up reading it. But you can see how you can see how Jonathan Jonathan utilizes the space there. Going straight into the perfect run. Giving me that passing option. But pretty much giving me a guaranteed goal. But I just screwed it up. Little flick. Flick over. Gonna go for the volley towards the near post. Come on now. If you're gonna give Jonathan that much space and you're not gonna mark him properly, he's gonna he's gonna make you he's gonna make you pay pretty much. He's going to, like, don't, why, I'm just so confused. Why would you allow him this much space? Hopefully, we do see it again. Because he had time to flick it up. He had time to flick it up once. He had time to flick it up twice. And a little, you know, a little side volley. And it does end up bouncing before he goes in. But at least it went in. 
Fake shot into the space. Ball roll. Get the angle towards in the post. Once again, he moves the key pack. The wrong place at the wrong time. Couldn't really speak that, I must say. But I tell you what, that fake shot, the celebration that he's got is absolutely ridiculous. He is doing Van Dyke like there is no tomorrow. Van Dyke can't handle it. He can't. The pace is too much. So it is time to review him. Two games played, seven goals. Come on now, the guy is a goal scoring machine. Everything pretty much went into the back of the net. There was some, some misses, but most of them went in. Now, 289k for this card. I don't believe it's worth it. I believe he's like a 150k card. I believe he is still going to go down. I like. I think the only reason he's still, you know, for nearly 300k is because he is Brazilian. He doesn't come from the greatest league. We all know that. Now, six foot. Honestly, wasn't actually that big of a problem because his dribbling was outrageous. The high low work rate, I did see him consistently going behind, which was a bit annoying, but there was time to time where he would stand in front of the center backs. Now, the four star skill moves is always going to be nice to see. The five star weak for though is beautiful. It honestly is the same thing as if he shot with the right foot. Now, pace wise, this guy is insanely fast and he was disgustingly outpacing van dyke and <laughs> that's not an easy job to do finishing ability out of this world with both feet passing ability i must say i was really really impressed his short passing is ridiculous it's top tier long passing mm, questionable let's just say that it's very very inconsistent there's sometimes where it does work there's other times that it doesn't dribbling one of the best six foot dribblers i have actually seen how, how close he keeps the ball to his feet is crazy. There is some occasions, I must admit, there is some occasions where he does, you know, see a Van Dijk or a Ramos running towards him and he will take the occasional bad touch. But in most situations, he did take a really, really good touch. He did do his little twists and turns and it allowed me to do like a heel to heel flick, a burber spin and all of those. Jumping wise, I could not believe how high this guy jumped. It was ridiculous, honestly. How high this guy jumped towards that near post, we didn't end up getting a goal, which was a bit disappointing, but I honestly wish, wish it went in. Because it was like one of those Ronaldo versus Evra in the back of the day when Ronaldo was at Real Madrid and obviously Evra at Manchester United, where I'm pretty sure all of you have seen that picture where Ronaldo is so far up, it's ridiculous. Stamina wise, he did last about the whole 90 minutes. Strength was interesting. I didn't believe he had 90 strength. I felt like he was a bit weaker than that because... I wouldn't say it was quite easy to get the ball off him because, you know, he did these little twists and turns. But it was one of those ones where if he came to a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder animation, he would lose it. And that was something I wasn't comfortable with. Aggression, he was fighting for the ball. He was fighting for the badge, and that is something I do love to see. Now, if I have to give him a rating out of 10, I am going to give him an 8 out of 10. I don't believe he's a 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 player because... I feel like this card against, you know, the top tier players, like elite one slash top 100 players, he would not show up. And if I'm going to be honest, I would not use him in my weekend league spot. But do who, who do I think is better, Alex or Jonathan? For me, honestly, I would say they're completely two different players. If you like taller strikers, go for Jonathan. But if you like more meta strikers, then 100% Alex is the way to go. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace. Thank you.